Dear data aspirants, ever dreamt of joining Google? Prepare to be inspired by Karan Rajawani's incredible journey. From a novice to an expert, Karan's career transformation was fueled by the right skills and the knowledge that set him apart in the competitive job market, ultimately leading him to make his mark at the tech giant. Don't miss this inspiring video as he reveals his secrets in Skillovilla's success story. Hey, hi Karan. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yep, yep, fine. Great. So Karan, uh, first of all, thank you so much for doing this uh, interview call with us. I mean, it's going to be definitely an inspiring discussion for a lot of people out there who are going to watch this uh, interview because there are a lot of people who are, you know, confused about their career. There's no roadmap to it. So I'm sure your, your journey is going to help them out in understanding if they want to, you know, pursue data analyst as a career or data scientist as a career. So, you know, before we deep dive into your online journey with Skillovella, let's get to know about you first. So if you can, you know, help us understand about you first. Okay, so I did my graduation in mechanical engineering from Jaipur JCRC University. After that, I started, you know, doing my job. My first job was in sales operations and I used to look after a lot of Excel sheets and presentations and everything and, you know, communication with clients, existing clients, new clients. After that, I got selected with Cognizant. I got enrolled with Cognizant uh, as a digital marketer and I used to run Google ads for multiple clients of Cognizant and, uh, you know, I was always interested in analytics and wanted to shift my career towards that only. And after, after Cognizant, I joined uh, my last organization. Uh, that's Ensight Incorporation. There, I, uh, I, you know, got a chance to move my career towards that. It, it, it was still a lot of mix between marketing, performance marketing, email marketing, and a lot of reporting and an analytics and things that we, you know, can improve. I always wanted to pursue and shift my career towards more of analytics only, and that's why I came to, you know, one day I was just searching on Google and I came to know about Skillovilla few demo classes and I thought I really liked it and I thought like it's the thing that I want to pursue and that I got enrolled in the data analytics course learned everything that you know one uh, a data analyst should know and because I had previous knowledge of business from marketing perspective and sales perspective so I think my business understanding the basic understanding of business and its metrics was like clear the fundamentals were clear hands-on practice on Excel as well, the SQL and statistics was the thing that I wanted to majorly focus on. Kilovilla that definitely helped me a lot with that. Yeah, and like for six, seven months, I pursued the course, you know, did a lot of mock tests, interviews and everything. I finally got selected with uh, Google, did multiple interview rounds and everything. And yeah, I'm glad I, I, opted, did, did, uh, I opted this course with Skillovilla and you know, I'm a really good position right now. All right, great. That's great. First of all, congratulations on that. Selecting in Google and as a senior marketing analyst, right? Yeah. So uh, let's take you back to your graduation years. So since you mentioned that, you know, you have all, you've done your graduation in mechanical. So, like, yes. during your college days, it was in your mind that, you know, you are more uh, interested towards analytical field and, you know, you want to pursue this or, you know, why going through your corporate journey, like, as a sales executive? It was during my corporate journey in Cognizant. I thought, like, you know, moving into a data uh, part of the career will, like, is something that I want to do. During my college days, I was doing mechanical engineering. I just know that I just knew at that time in second or third year that I'm not going to be a good engineer. I thought moving into the management side uh, of the career might help me a lot because I saw myself getting enrolled and getting engaged in various multiple activities during college, in festivals, managing people and everything. So I thought that might be a good path for me. Plus, my, uh, my family background is in business only. Okay. So that's the direction that I should choose for myself. Got it, got it. So what I can infer from uh, your uh, answer is that people are from mechanical background and I mean people who are from the engineer background not very much sure that they actually want to be an engineer but participating in various activities in college and different kinds of activities can definitely give them some idea that what they want to do in their but. Yes, I mean people people opt a particular career track let's say they, they maybe want to do you know, BBA, MBA, 
you know i especially i'm from kota so the major population here is like pursuing engineering only whatever track you are choosing for your career whether it's business whether it's engineering you should just not stick to that particular track only you should you know invest and invest your time and learn should try to learn about other things as well so i think it will it develops you as a you know holistic person who has you know knowledge of multiple fields uh, even if you want to pursue your career in that particular track only still you should have the little bit of you know knowledge of finance a little bit of knowledge of business management and everything because you know we are in india and at at very early stage of our career we don't know a lot about lot of things and we are just exposed to that particular you know you have to study 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 or sports 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 so most of the people just you know follow that track only but i think if you want to develop holistically you should participate and engage in everything right you mentioned college is an college is an opportunity where you can Lower in various fields, and I think you people who are right now in the college should uh, take advantage of this opportunity and explore as much as you can. So yes, I'm gonna help you in your in your long term. All right. so let's so now deep dive into your online journey with Skillovit. So before you know uh, going further, I would like to understand how was your learning experience with Skillovit so far, and like was there a specific feature that you liked the most in the curriculum you know i i didn't wanted to take a break from my career you know in fact before joining the course at skillovel i did mba as well in itsm because it was a holistic course from nasim unji and it involved data analytics and business analytics analytics part as well but that was more from a management point of view not from the execution point of view or from the you know tools and techniques point of view So I thought I should definitely opt for a you know certification course after that. After I got enrolled in Skillo Villa, I really liked the you know their course structure. It was like very well defined. All the milestones, all the activities, all the assignments. I know it was not an easy task. It is not going to be an easy task for anyone, especially if you are doing a job as well, a full time job. You know, a lot of people give up at that time and don't don't complete their assignments on time. You know, don't follow the milestones and everything. But I mean, just for six and eight months, if you can really, really focus and give your hundred percent, you know, alongside with your job. So I think that will you know help you a lot in pushing your career. Career. That's that's one of the thing that I learned during this track, like maintaining a job as well as doing a curriculum, a, a course. You know, that is totally new for you because like. SQL I I think I was like pretty above average at learning SQL and grasping things and statistics also because like I'm from an engineering background and I have that thing but still you you still need to put your a lot of efforts in that and I noticed like my colleagues they lost track and they couldn't focus on one thing but I think you should just like put your effort at the time if you have really thought this through and you want to do it then I think consistency is the key to success that we say you you definitely has to be consistent in what you are doing and if you are generally serious about your career want you if you enroll for the course and you generally want to be a data analyst or data scientist for that matter you do need to put in your efforts it's both the sides we are can help you out with the come down resolving sessions helping you connecting with the industry mentors who can give you the practical knowledge of what you are already learning theoretically all the resources that you need in terms of upskilling yourself will be provided but from your from students perspective the all is just the efforts and do your assignments and everything on time and I, it doesn't take more than an hour to two hours right if you consider steadily giving one to two hours on your on your assignments and everything you will good to go yes 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 definitely all right so uh, since you mentioned about the Doubt sessions and everything. You you had live class with the industry experts in the on weekends as well. So was there any specific uh, live class with the industry experts you remember was like you know was of you like you genuinely like that particular class or if you remember the mentor? Actually, I I like I like all of them to be honest. Like uh, live classes with with Deepak Karol were especially like helped me a lot in understanding the business point of view. You know and. and get to know about things that i really didn't know like how to do funnel analysis and everything and i think orup kanungo classes were also like quite uh, informative yeah from from the top of my mind i think live classes did help a lot in clearing all my doubts and you know gaining a a, a bigger business perspective more than that new and the so all right 
so let's let's uh, i mean i i believe those classes must be very knowledgeable as well along with the yes it is giving at the caliber the uh situation so great so can you also come throw some light on your placement journey with skillabella how was it for you and you know what was the process that you gone through in the journey okay so placement journey uh, i will say uh, first there were some mock interviews and you know i i had to do a lot of revision because you know you cannot remember what you learned 6 months ago if you are out of practice and everything so first i revised all of things especially like i guess once or twice and i was giving interviews so after the mock interview uh, because i was in a rush <laughs> as well because i wanted to you know move my career as fast as possible uh because i was like putting efforts not just from last one year but two years before that as well when i started doing my ba uh, i started applying through nokri as well and through various portals but the mock interview helped me a lot in clearing those oh okay. yeah so the um, the agenda of mock interview is that only to help you prepare better for your actual interview rounds so that you can have an idea what sort of questions are going to be there in your interviews how you have to react to the answers and everything it's not only the technical aspect of this of it but also your communication matters a lot how your answer is like how good are you with pronunciation of some specific words and all those things so the mock interviews is definitely help you in that particular the other thing is like you you do get out of practice of giving interviews right when you are doing a particular from a long time that's that true very true right So Karan since you mentioned that you yourself was a working professional why pursue the course so I'm sure there must be times when you, know, you did not get time to complete your assignments and everything or let's say you have some doubt or query that is that you know wants to be resolved in that particular time so did you get that kind of support from the team in in doubt resolving queries on such sessions yeah so actually what i used to do was uh excel i think i was pretty good at so i really didn't need any help in that but sql i will say i used to rewatch videos again and again to you know uh see like where i am lagging and how can i solve this kind of query and everything uh but still uh, let's say if the submission deadline is on sunday or monday there used to be a doubt class on saturday as well and th- this is where i used to ask my queries No, and obviously you will not get the particular answer uh, if you're like smart enough then you will know what type of question you should ask and you know how to crack that thing amazing uh, karan as a final word like uh, what suggestion you would like to give to all those uh, data analysts and data science seekers who are you know looking forward to join skillovilla's career track and you know also for people like for example working professionals like you yourself have on to that particular journey and have an experience uh how to manage uh, their time along with their job and pursuing the courses so first is like especially if you are like transitioning your career uh, especially like most of the people who are working in maybe bpos or back end or anything like that and want to transition their career uh, maybe they are in sales and marketing you know so it is not going to be an easy, easy task because you are you know trying to learn a lot of new things first thing you just have to be consistent and there will be times where you will think like okay i'm not able to do that but that's the point where you push yourself really really hard and then you know you you cross that border so consistency and not giving up is like one of the thing and don't don't really miss your assignments definitely complete that on time uh, most of my colleagues and especially uh, myself as well used to work in night shifts actually you know i am in marketing and sometimes there are events coming up and i have to work like 12 or 13 hours a day in fact but you cannot take that as an excuse if you have if you if you have thought that you have to do this then you got to do that just put those extra hours as well and it will definitely pay you back all right thank you so much karan for doing this such an honest and uh, insightful interview for us and sure this is going to help a lot of people out there who are going to watch this interview So okay. at the end I would just like to wish you all the ba- best for your future and whenever if you need any kind of help and support from Skillovilla you know we are just a call away let us know and we'll help you thank you thank you so much collaborate with the Skillovilla community today